Hello and welcome to Ashford.com. You are watching an interesting video on severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, the meaning, causes, signs and symptoms, tests and diagnosis, and treatment and prevention. Please read this disclaimer carefully. According to a new study conducted by health economists at the University of East Anglia and the Centre for Diet and Activity Research in the UK, walking or cycling to work is better for people's mental health than driving. Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, commonly referred to as SARS, is a respiratory illness that is both contagious and sometimes fatal. SARS was first identified in China in November 2002 and within only a few months, the disease spread across the world. By 2003, 8,098 people worldwide had contracted SARS, leading to 774 people dying. Cases were reported in over 30 countries across five different continents. The U.S. was not particularly affected, only eight cases were recorded, in which each person had traveled to parts of the world where the disease was common. Strong levels of global cooperation ensured that the threat of SARS was dealt with swiftly, and the spread of the disease was effectively contained. Since 2004, there have been no new SARS outbreaks anywhere in the world. Organizations such as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, are preparing and planning in case the threat of SARS re-emerges. Fast Facts on SARS here are some key points about SARS. More detail and supporting information is in the main article. SARS belongs to the same family of viruses as the common cold. It is believed that SARS is spread through droplets in the air and close person-to-person -person con -person contact. Normally, the symptoms of SARS develop within 2-7 days. Most patients that have SARS go on to develop pneumonia. Serious complications arising from SARS are most likely to affect people aged over 60 and people with other chronic illnesses such as diabetes or hepatitis. SARS is so rare that its diagnosis mainly depends on whether a person has an obvious history of exposure to the virus or not. The CDC recommends that people with SARS receive the same treatment as people with community-acquired atypical pneumonia. If a person has SARS, then it is important that they limit their interactions with other people. People are encouraged to be careful with personal hygiene measures such as hand washing to reduce the risk of spreading the disease. There have been no recorded cases of SARS anywhere in the world since 2000. What is SARS? SARS is a disease caused by the SARS coronavirus, SARS CoV. Coronaviruses are a common form of virus that cause upper respiratory tract illnesses in the majority of cases. Three coronaviruses are the family of viruses that are responsible for the common cold. Four. SARS was first discovered in China in November 2002. There are six different kinds of coronavirus that can infect humans. Four of these are particularly common and most people will be infected by at least one of these at some time in their life. The other two cause SARS and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, which are far less common but far more deadly. Before the emergence of SARS, coronaviruses had not been particularly dangerous to humans, although they had been known to develop into severe diseases in animals. As a result, it was initially hypothesized that SARS-CoV may have originally transmitted from animals to humans, though now it's believed that an animal virus may have have mutated into a new, more deadly strain. What causes SARS? It is believed that SARS is spread through the air, via coughing and sneezing, or through close person-to-person -person contact. SARS-CoV is likely to be transmitted in respiratory droplets and be absorbed into the body through the mucous membranes of the mouth, nose and eyes. Examples of person-to-person -person contact includes the following, hugging and kissing someone sharing utensils for eating and drinking speaking to someone within three feet of them touching someone directly. The virus can be spread by respiratory droplets being left on objects used by other people such as door handles, doorbells and telephones, to be inadvertently picked up by someone else using the object. 
Recent Developments on SARS Causes Strongest Evidence to Date That SARS Originated From Bats Scientists have discovered that two new coronaviruses found in Chinese horseshoe bats are a close relative of the SARS coronavirus. This is according to a new study published in the journal Nature. Mammal viruses exceed 320,000, still undiscovered. Scientists say there are approximately 320,000 viruses present in mammals that are yet to be discovered, according to a study published in the journal MBio. Signs and Symptoms of SARS Following exposure to the virus, the symptoms of SARS tend to develop within 2-7 days. During the incubation period before SARS manifests itself, the disease is not contagious. Kid with High Temperature SARS typically begins with the onset of high fever. Most cases of SARS begin with a high fever, with the temperature exceeding 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. 38 degrees Celsius. Other early symptoms include those common to flu, such as aches, chills, diarrhea, dry coughing and shortness of breath. These will develop over the course of a week. Most patients go on to develop pneumonia, an infection of the lungs, which is the leading cause of death in children below the age of 5 worldwide. Serious complications such as respiratory failure heart failure and liver failure are also a risk. These complications are more likely to afflict people over 60 years of age, and in particular those with pre-existing comorbidities such as diabetes or hepatitis.8. Test and Diagnosis of SARS At present, there is no specific test that can be used to diagnose SARS quickly enough to be able to inform the patient's treatment. As a result, Diagnosis of SARS currently depends on the observance of a patient's clinical and epidemiological features. The majority of patients who developed SARS previously had a clear history of exposure to people who had developed the disease or to places where transmission of the disease had been ongoing. SARS patients also normally develop pneumonia, as so a correlation of these two indicators would often suggest that the patient had developed SARS. It is recommended that patients should only be considered to have SARS if they require hospitalization for otherwise unexplained pneumonia and have a history that raises the suspicion of exposure to the virus, such as recent travel to an area previous affected by SARS or working in a laboratory that contains live SARS-CoV. Traveling to an area previously affected by SARS could increase the risk of developing the disease. In the unlikely event of a healthcare provider needing to test for SARS, there are a number of laboratory tests that can be used. Polymerase chain reaction, PCR, can detect the genetic material of the disease in specimens from a patient, such as blood, stool or nasal secretions. Serologic testing can detect the antibodies of a disease in the serum of a patient. Viral culture and isolation involves taking a small sample of tissue or fluid that may be infected from a patient and placing it in a container with cells in to see if the virus Treatment and Prevention of SARS The CDC recommends that people with SARS should have the same treatment as people that have developed community-acquired atypical pneumonia, such as fever reducers and cough medicine to alleviate the symptoms.10. Washing hands is a key way of reducing the chances of passing on SARS. Simple prevention methods are the same as for other infectious diseases. The following examples of personal hygiene maintenance can help restrict the spread of the virus. Wash hands frequently avoid touching eyes, mouth or nose with unclean hands cover mouth and nose with a tissue when coughing or sneezing encourage others to do the same. Because SARS is contagious once its symptoms have developed, it is important that people with the disease limit their interactions with other people until 10 days after their symptoms have improved. SARS is at its most contagious during the second week of illness. Recent Developments on SARS Treatment Enzyme Discovery Holds Promise for SARS, MERS Vaccine A new study led by researchers from Purdue University in West Lafayette, in, 
details a way of disabling a part of the virus involved in severe acute respiratory syndrome that allows it to hide from it to hide from the immune system, a finding that may lead to the development of a vaccine against the disease. Scientists identify compound that inhibits MERS and SARS. No specific drugs exist to work against coronaviruses, the pathogens behind severe acute respiratory syndrome and Middle East respiratory syndrome, but research published in the journal Plos Pathogens unveils a new coronavirus inhibitor. As stated previously, there haven't been any recorded cases of SARS anywhere in the world since 2004. Since this time, the CDC have been working with various organizations, federal, state and local, to plan and prepare a response should SARS reappear at any point in the References